Hello everyone, my name is Kranti. In this video, I am going to teach you how to add a cool countdown timer by using just Microsoft PowerPoint. Before we start, let us see how the final output looks like. So let us see how to do it. First click on view and select guides. Next again go back to home and now right click and select format background. Here you will get a variety of options to fill the background. I am selecting gradient fill. There are many templates. I am selecting the default one. Close this panel. Next we need to create a circle. So go to shapes and select the circle option and draw a circle. Next go to shape fill and fill it with any color of your choice. After this go to shape outline and click no outline. Next go to arrange, align and align to center. Next again go to arrange, align and align to middle. Next let us draw another circle. To draw a perfect circle just hold shift and draw it. So for this one I am selecting, I am filling it with a white color and again shape outline, I am selecting no outline. Next draw the circle inside the first one and again you need to click on arrange and align to center and then again to middle. Next we need to make another circle, so again go to shapes and select circle. Draw a circle which is smaller in size. Next drag it inside the second circle. Next again we need to adjust the color. I am keeping it blue and no outline. Next go to align and center and middle. Now let's make the timer buttons. So to do that go to shapes and from here on from the rectangles select the fourth option. Next draw the shape over the circle and uh, try to adjust the size of that. Adjust the width and height according to your preference. Once you are happy with the shape don't forget to go to shape outline and select no outline and also align it to the center. So once this is done next you need to create another shape. So go to shapes and select rounded rectangle. Now try to draw it and for this also go to shape outline and select no outline. Next let us rotate the shape little bit to the left. So next try to adjust the shape to fit it on the circle. I am placing it here. Once you are happy with the position try to duplicate it. Click Ctrl D otherwise you can simply right click on it and click copy and again paste it. Next I am gonna drag it to the other side. Oops. Yeah. Next select the shape and go to arrange and rotate and flip horizontal. Next after this try to adjust the placement of that shape by using your keyboard. Once you are happy, let's move on to creating the text layers. Select the text box and type number 5. For this one I am adjusting the font. I am changing it to Arial, keeping it bold 
and changing the font size to 130 and also change the color to white next select the layer and try to duplicate it by clicking ctrl D now rename this to number 4 and repeat the process Now everything is ready, let's start animation. Go to animations and select animation pane. Let's try to animate the inner white circle first. So select the circle and from the effects panel select wheel. Now you need to adjust the timing for this from the timing panel select one second as duration and you need to repeat it for five times let's see the output for this right next you need to animate the numbers one by one so select number five and from the effects panel select appear next you need to change the timing settings select with previous and you need to delay it by 0.01 seconds again deselect and again select the number 5 and now select disappear for this one select with previous and you need to delay it by 1 second now select number 4 and select appear and again for this start with previous and delay it by one second and again select disappear and now you need to delay it by two seconds so repeat the same process for the other numbers as well so for the third one again select appear previous and delay by 3 seconds see if you are confused let's go back to the previous layer and check it out see I've made a mistake here I need to keep it 2 seconds ok now add an exit animation by selecting disappear and for this with previous and you need to delay it by 3 seconds now for number 2 select appear start with previous and you need to delay it by 3 seconds now again you need to add exit animation to number 2 so let's see yeah select number 2 and select disappear and again with previous and delay it by 4 seconds now the final one select number 1 click appear with previous and you need to delay it by 4 seconds and again disappear with previous and 5 seconds now the final step is you need to put all the numbers inside the circle so hold shift and drag the numbers one by one inside the circle
that's it guys now let's play the entire animation that we did so far perfect that's it guys i hope you really enjoyed this video if you like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching